Let's go, Rapid Nation. Iraq has finally achieved the unthinkable. Here we go. We have Al Sudani in the first word. Let's start a new page, and it's time to restore the prestige of the state and stop the lawlessness. We're going to get to what happened yesterday with the vote on the president, and now Al Sudani as prime minister has, I believe, 10 days as a request from Rashid, the president president elect to form a government happy friday and welcome to rapid updates the channel to serve you rapid news more news less bs so you can focus on what really matters while encouraging you to be rapid and as always prepare for the environment ahead the next six to twelve months is going to be rocky let's get rapid all right out of nowhere here comes rashid as president didn't really expect that but he won the vote and former president Saleh walked out of parliament can't say he's very happy and right away al sudani has the challenge to form the government i believe given 10 days i think total constitutional wise he has 30 days my buddy in baghdad sent me a telegram message and said people of iraq they're absolutely mad now that is just his point of view i don't know much about this guy but he's been in politics for quite some time some individuals are saying he's as, as corrupt as they come but hey it's over and done with he says he's gonna fight corruption will be at the forefront of the government's priorities calling on everyone to assume responsibility and participate in a comprehensive national national campaign to combat corruption for all you americans out there u.s state department welcomes the elect of rashid and sends a request to al sudani and I quote, we urge the political leaders who will form the new government to heed the will of the Iraqis who voted for the government that responds to their needs. The United States also urges all parties to avoid violence and resolve differences amicably and peacefully through the political process, said the spokesperson Ned Price in a statement. The United States reaffirms this commitment partnering with the people of Iraq. All right, so what does Al Sadr think? He's going to monitor Al Sudani for the next six months. Al Mashadani was interviewed and he says that Al Sudani is not considering any blow to the Sadr's movement because Al Sadr has a reform project and therefore if Sudanis, Sudanese government includes a reformist side, it is certain that Al Sadr will support it. So there you have it. It's going to give him six months. And in case you're wondering, a little biography on the Prime Minister Dexanit. He's born 1970. He's married, has four kids. He got a bachelor's degree in ag science from the College of Ag, University of Baghdad. He's been positions he's held. He's been a mayor of the city of Mara since 2004, governor and minister of human rights, acting minister in 2013 in ag, head of the Political Prisoners Foundation, acting minister of migration and displacements in 2014. In 2014, again, minister of labor and social affairs, acting minister of commerce and Minister of Industry of 2016. Let's face it, the guy's been touched with corruption. I'm only stating this as an opinion. Hopefully, he's not corrupt as they come. If you have any dirt on this guy, please spill the beans down in the comments below. Share it with all of us. Ah, yes, coordination framework, completion of the ministerial cabinet of Mohammed Shia al Sudani within 10 days. And then, of course, Mazar Bazani expresses his full support and formation of the exclusive government that works to achieve the interests of the Iraqis. Oh, let's not forget about Black Shark, the UN. We expect the government to program to address a long list of urgent issues. al Sudani begins negotiations to form a government today as well, meets with coordination framework. Yesterday in the Telegram group, if you saw it, I posted a video, just a real clip of what he says. al Sudani came out and uh, says within the first two weeks he's going to reform lowering the dollar rate. And that's going to be one of his main focuses on lowering the dollar because it's so high. And one way to do that right is to increase dinar. He didn't it didn't come out and say that, but that's what he meant. And he used the words gradually over time. And if you want to see that, you'll have to join the Telegram group. That link is down below. Yeah, you know, people in Iraq, that's one of their main, you know, top five issues is the currency rate, just like everywhere else with inflation. They want to fight it as well. Will he do that? Will he succeed? He did say gradually 
I don't know exactly what that means or how quickly, but um, all right, that's going to do it for rapid updates video on this Friday. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Stay rapid.